Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly. Here we talk everything Agile, Agile tools. And today we're going to talk about difference between stories in Jira versus bugs. What is the difference when you should use one over another? I know it's a little bit of a beginner tutorial, but you guys ask me this question a lot, so I want to make sure I answer it. Before we do a couple of things. First of all, I want to thank today's sponsor, PractiTest, for sponsoring this video. Let me show you what PractiTest does. This video is brought to you by PractiTest. PractiTest helps the world leading companies to deliver better quality software with confidence. With PractiTest, you can have full traceability of your business requirements and all the connected tests and issues. Execute tests of any type, manual, exploratory, or automated. Receive AI-based recommendations, report issues directly to Jira in real time, and present reports and dashboards in order to make better data-driven software quality decisions. This is PractiTest. They are amazing. Please go check them out. The link will be at the top and in the description as well. A couple more things. If you guys want to learn Jira in about one day, go to the description below. Check out my course on Jira. It's very affordable. Allow you to learn Jira from basics to being pre-advanced in just eight hours. Also, if you guys are stuck and you want somebody to help you with particular issues, please go to the first comment of this video, uh, click on a button, and you can book yourself into the calendar of me or one of my amazing Jira administrators We go with you through the things 101. Uh, it is hourly, so we are ready to help you there. Finally, if you are a company that is looking for agile transformation or Jira migration or using Jira, Jira maintenance, anything of that sort, please go to financial.com. Go to contact us and send us a message and we're happy to talk to you. Now, without any further ado, let's talk about Jira bug versus story. So you can create both. If you click on create, Jira by default gives you access to stories, bugs, epics, and we have a custom one called design in here. So story versus bug. Story is where you're bringing business value. It's a user story. Let's say you're building a system, a flight ticketing system. The story might be create a login screen or create authentication. And this is a story, something that you bring business value. At the end of the story, your customer will get something in return. They'll get some business value. The bug is a regression. Let's say you delivered this and something did not go well. Let's say I have a bug. You try to authenticate and it doesn't work. Your client says your authentication doesn't work. So then you create a bug. Creating a bug, you click create, you create a bug, you put a summary of the bug, the login page does not show up. Also, you want to make sure you have steps to reproduce. I go to URL, I see screenshot below. And then you attach a screenshot. Make sure all your bugs have steps to reproduce. Otherwise, the developer takes it and they're like, I have no idea what's a URL, how does it look like, what's happening, if you have any errors, if you have any screenshots, please put them all in a bug. So bug is a regression while story is with delivering business value. Can story become a bug? No. You close the story, deliver business value, and then you open a new bug. So you don't usually convert stories into a bug unless you made a mistake. You create a story, which is really a bug, then probably can convert it. But most of the cases, you have a story, you complete the story, you deliver a story, you demo your story in an agile way, you say, okay, here's the story, this is what we delivered. Then maybe the client says, well, I tried, it doesn't work. This then it becomes a bug. So bug is a regression, bug is a defect, story is a piece of business value that we deliver to our customers. Now, I'll include another one because you guys will ask. And I have a special video about it, Epic versus Story versus Task. Check it out. I talk a lot about what's an Epic, what's a Task. People ask me all the time, Anatoly, why don't we create Task and not a Story? And I'm going to put it here as well, just to reiterate myself what I said in the previous video. Task usually does not bring business value. Task can be... Usually, I would not recommend even using tasks that much, but if you want to track scheduling a meeting or you, you want to track something that in the end does not produce a business value for a customer, you can use task. For anything that is business value that we're producing, that usually we estimate as well, we can talk about estimation later, but we 
estimate it, we're making sure that we know how much it takes, then we deliver to a customer, that's a story. Task, we usually do not estimate tasks because task is something we just have to do, some business as usual things that does not bring business value. Bug is a regression. Hopefully it helps. Please let me know of any questions down below. If you want me to cover more in depth any of this, please let me know in the comments. If you think this brings you value, please like and subscribe. It allows us to share this to more people. And I really appreciate when you like and subscribe. And if you like it also, please send me a comment. I read them all. I reply to hopefully most of them. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.